Hi, my name is Chris Tillotson, Chief Information Officer for Ice Energy, and today I'm back again with Dr. Marcel Christians, Hi, everyone. our Vice President of Research and Development, and we're here at the IDEA Lab. And the last time we talked, uh, you were just breaking ground on the prototype development effort. And here we are five weeks later, we'd like to catch up with you and see where things are going. Sure, we've had a pretty busy five weeks here. Um, working really hard on the Asper 10. We've been working with our partners, Danfoss, um, in procuring a lot of the parts that we need. And uh, as they've been coming in, we've also been doing a lot of development testing here on some of our other test platforms. Right. I understand that some of the testing that you're doing has to do with um, taking an existing ice bear and using it to generate heat, something that we haven't done in the past. That's right. Um, since the components are pretty much the same, uh, we decided to take one of our spare development ice bears and run it in reverse. So instead of cooling the space, you know, we just ran the, the system backwards and we're providing heating. And the reason why we wanted to do that was we, that we wanted to get the design of the two circuits that we use right so that when the ice bear 10 components came in, we'd be able to hit the ground running and um, get a prototype up and running in no time. So now that we've got these different products, I, maybe we can let everybody understand what, what the purpose of each of them are. We've got the IB30, we've got the IB20, and the IB10. Maybe you can just help us understand at a high level what the distinctions are between those in terms of storage and capabilities. Yeah, absolutely. So the Asper 30 is a 30 ton hour thermal energy storage system that works with a packaged unit. And um, the Asper 20, again, the name lets you know what it does. It stores 20 ton hours and uh, it replaces 100% of your home's cooling needs. The Ice Bear 10 stores 10 ton hours and it's a really special guy because it um, replaces 100% of your home's cooling needs but it also provides all of the heating needs that your home's going to require. Um, the other major uh, design consideration for the Ice Bear 10 has has been that we've really focused on trying to make sure that it fits in the tightest space possible. So that it'll fit in the widest range in, um, of homes actually out there. Right, and we saw last time that there's two separate components and, and that, that lends itself to fitting in a wider variety of locations. I Absolutely, imagine. because you can tuck something into one corner and then you can put the other unit somewhere else. Excellent. Do you think uh, we could take a look? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, here we are. What you can see is in the background there's a prototype Ice Bear 10 that's still on construction. Right now we are basically two days away from firing it up. Um, and it's sitting right next to the Ice Bear 30, our Ice Bear, uh, flagship Ice Bear 30 that's in the foreground. And the first thing that really stands out when you look at these two units side by side is how much smaller the Ice Bear 10 is compared to the Ice Bear 30. Uh, the unit itself is about uh, 30 percent of the size of, of the same footprint of as of the Ice Bear 30. Ar around this side you can uh, really see clearly all of the components that were um, that we procured from Dafos and that have really helped us to size uh, correctly for this specific application. So one of the first things that you'll um, see about this tank is, is that it's actually a handmade custom design tank that we've insulated with foam. Um, the heat exchanger design of the, that, that's inside of this tank uh, is very similar to the rest of our units. For rapid prototyping purposes, we procured a custom uh, handmade tank to really get this unit uh, up and running as quickly as possible. And of course our final units are going to have um, a rotor molded double wall insulated tank um, much like the rest of uh, the Ice Bear uh, family. I'm really happy with the way the whole team has come together and put a lot of effort into getting this uh, prototype off the ground in a record amount of time. And i um, really excited uh, to be able to show you in the next couple of weeks how this uh, unit is going to be providing you know, cooling, heating and everything in between. Um, so why don't we uh, sit down and I can let you, uh, you know, I can just give you a brief overview of where we're going to be and what the next major milestones are. First big milestone is this weekend we're going to turn it on, we're going to make ice, we're going to deliver cooling from ice, and we're going to deliver heating using the compressor. So this is 
this weekend. We're, it's the last weekend of October, just to place everyone. Um, so this is going to be our Halloween treat. Excellent. Yeah, and it's, it's cooling off, so it's just in time. It's perfect timing, actually. Yep. And then uh, our, once, once we do our preliminary testing, make sure that the, we're hitting the efficiency uh, requirements that we have set for ourselves, uh, which we are confident we're going to do because we've got good modeling tools. And um, we're going to send it off to our New York, upstate New York manufacturing facility, uh, where they're going to put uh, sheet metal work around it and make it look really pretty, and then they're going to bring it back. So that is expected to happen um, by the first week of December. And uh, we'll be installing it in a home, a lucky home before Christmas. Oh, very good. Well, we're going to check back in a few weeks uh, and uh, see the finished product and uh we're all excited about that, Marcel. It's going to be a, a big Christmas present for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Um, looking forward to having you over again in a couple of weeks. All right. Thank you, Marcel. Bye.